Hey guys, welcome back to JLEG 3D. So today we're going to be working on a Y splitter, which is typically used for like an exhaust or a plastic uh, pipe. So what we're going to have here is basically draw the outline of the shape we want to follow. Let's make that one a little bit longer. And then we simply draw a circle and we have to rotate that by 90 degrees by selecting it and then click exit sketching so that it goes to the move tool automatically. We just rotate that by 90 degrees. And now we use the sweep function uh, to go ahead and select that circle and follow our line. And this is the basic outline you'll see if you're welding pipes. But uh, we want to make it slightly smoother since we will be 3D printing this most likely. Uh, so we're gonna go ahead and show you how to do that as well. But basically, if this is all you need, you just rotate it by 90 degrees and you union those two and you have your outline that you need, you know, for the weld cuts or whatever else. So this is a Y splitter, and then you'll have to obviously shell this, but let's let's save that for later. Let's go ahead and smooth these out. So what we're gonna do first is uh, select all the sketches and lock them into place because we're gonna use the tangent constraint to put the circle on both those lines so that it doesn't move around, right? So then we can select the size of the blend that we want. Uh, let's go ahead and follow the size of the circle there so everything's the same. So And also if you do the dimension first, it locks that dimension into place before you tangent. So that also helps you keep your circle the same size. Once we have those in place, we go ahead and trim the edges that we don't need. In this case, the sharp corners and the circles, unless you want to save them for reference later. But now we have our path that we need to follow. We do the same thing. We tools sweep. We select our circle and then we have a little bit more to click here, but it's worth it since we have those blended pieces. And if, like I said, if you're 3D printing this or manufacturing it, now you have those smooth lines, you don't even need to fill it. So now we rotate it by 180 degrees. We union it together and we have our completed piece. And now we basically just shell it to complete the inner sides and we can do whatever we want, but you kind of have to go based off of your metal or the plastic that you want. And uh, we want to verify the inside, right? So what we can do is click that top right square uh, on the top function that basically chooses that plane, we do section view, and now we can see our completed part with the path inside. It blends really well. Hope you guys learned something. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. Here at JLake 3 d our goal is to inspire and empower you to create your own amazing projects. Please support our work so that we can keep doing it. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to see more.